Alrighty, hello everybody. Um, just starting out this live, we are going to be today making sure um, that we have audio today. It looks like it. My audio capture is going like this, so let's hope all is working fine today. Um, and yeah, we're just going to go ahead and dive in to some different um, logos that you guys want to see made. And we can make sure that, uh, yeah, we just look at the hit. We're going to look at the history of some different logos and you guys can let me know in the comments which logos you want to see for this video. So I am going to go ahead and move this over here on the screen. I'm watching the chat. Um, hello, hello everybody. Thank you for joining. And yeah, so these are a couple that are up here. If you guys want to just like shout out the name of a logo in the chat, then I will look up the history of it. And I, my plan is to make um, one of these that we look up today into a video for um, my TikTok and Shorts account. So if you all want to go ahead and start shouting them out, then we'll look at it. Um, and then at the end of it, I'll, I'll compile all the logos into these um, squares and um, show you how I make those in Photoshop. And then I'll film them on my iPad and you can probably look for that video like in the next couple days. So um, sure. Happy birthday, Rosemary and Amelia, whichever one you are. <laughs> and let's get started. Okay. I see John Deere. I'm seeing Amazon. Apple. Ooh, some of these are pretty fun. These old ones. I like that they never really changed too much from the deer. Um, except I like that it, now that it looks like the deer is going up. Um, a little bit, so that's cool. Um, an interesting change because it kind of gives it more of that um, upward. Um, I don't know. Up means positivity, I think, instead of down, which means maybe like you're going down. Um, oh, you love the history videos. That's good. I actually have a new one coming tomorrow, so look out for that. Um, it's going to be a little bit longer form. It's like three minutes. Um, but yeah, okay, I saw Amazon. If I remember correctly, they changed a little, yeah, they used to look very different. Um, but now, they haven't changed this one since 2000. Amazon has a great, um, a great logo now in that, that it's kind of like one of those hidden ones, kind of like FedEx, where it goes from A to Z. Um, so that's very smart and clever. It's like the hidden little arrow in there for the AZ. And it also looks like the smile that they put on the box. So, um, okay. I'm seeing Apple. Apple's another one that want, their first logo is very different. So this is their first logo and it actually has Isaac Newton, like under this tree with the apple. Um, I'm guessing it has to do with like the name. They want it to be like a game changer. So when obviously, I don't know if you guys know, but when Isaac Newton um, was, the theory goes that he was hit on the head with the apple and he like somehow thought about the theory of gravity. So there's that. Um, I do love, love, love the 1977 one with the rainbow pattern on here. Um, and then, I mean, Apple just ha has a great logo. It's recognizable. You know exactly what it is. Um, sure. Hi, Amelia. Amila. Amila. Sorry. Um, okay. Target and happy birthday. Um, okay. Target had, I really, really love Target's initial one. And this is, I say this every time I talk about this, but I think Target really could benefit from having making t-shirts with this logo on it because you know how just like all these vintage t-shirt designs are in right now i think that would be a great one um as well as i do like the font they used in this one it's very um energetic um but 
obviously Target has a really good logo and it's very recognizable. Ooh, GameStop. I don't know if I've looked at GameStop. We also don't forget we can do um, we can do fast food. We can do um, candy brands. We can do soda brands. Anything like that. So let's do GameStop. Oh my gosh. I did not know that that was that it ever looked like that. I feel like I have vague memories of it looking like this a little bit. Um, but yeah, like this one. But this company is saying that it used to look like this. Let's see. Oh, Nike. Okay, let's do Nike after this. Okay, so this is saying in 1999. Uh, the original was more colorful and playful than the following one, while it featured nothing but the name of the brand. Each letter had a different color. This kind of looks like old, like, Google logos a little bit. All right, Nike. Okay, we'll do Nike. We'll do Google. Okay, I'm literally doing GameStop at the moment, so. All right, Nike. If I remember, Nike, yeah, it used to be called something else. What does it stand for? Blue Ribbon Sports. And then the swoosh, and they kind of like a lot of logos nowadays use kind of like this weird geometric shape for no reason. Um, so they kind of were the first ones to really invent that and make it their own. So I do really like uh, Nike's logo, and I really like this vintage font. Again, I feel like they could really chain take this and run with it and make it into a like a t-shirt design or maybe like a retro shoe design, something. I think it could be a, a big seller. So maybe Nike's clothing department needs to hire me. Just kidding. Okay, let's do Google. All right, Devin, we literally just did GameStop. So I don't know why you're still spamming that. Okay, the ones you haven't done. Um, Alrighty, so I guess, yeah, Google used to be called Backrub when it first started, which I did not know that until I was looking up old logos. Um, kind of a weird name. Um, the first one was very much that, like, word art type of font that you might see on Microsoft Word back in the day. I don't even know if they still have it anymore. Um, these ones also kind of give that... Um, feel too, like the way that they just have so many um, like 3D elements, like the bevel and emboss and the drop shadows under it just very much give like retro vibes. And by retro, I mean like early 2000s, 90s vibes. Um, then this, we have the one that everybody got mad about once it changed. So like it kind of went through a bunch of changes and then they basically landed on this flat design of the same font. And then in 2015, they like fully changed um, the design a little bit. Um, and they, I guess they like created this font. And yeah. So, okay. Okay, so does anyone else have any logos they want to see the history of? The one that I was thinking that we could do for today is A and W, because I haven't done that one yet, and someone in one of my other lives suggested doing it, and it really does have, like, some cool first ones, and I like that you can kind of see the progression, like, this one had a had an arrow going through it, and then they kind of took away the arrow and just made the middle be that ampersand. Um, and I guess they really loved this ampersand because they kept it even when they changed the font. So I think what I'm going to do is this is the one that I would personally like to do, I think, for the video. So what I'm going to do is you can basically go to any of these. Ooh, Lucky Charms. Okay. Keep those coming in. Okay, McDonald's. We'll do McDonald's. Ooh, it has a cool history. Okay, let's see. So, yeah, this is their one now. So, I guess they're, they don't really necessarily have, like, a logo 
history on Google, but you can find the old boxes, and these are really cool to look at. Um, I think my favorite one, logo-wise, would be this one. I just really like uh, the font that they used and like that flat yellow on the red. I think they could really honestly benefit from going back to this. I get that it's for kids, so they want it to be like playful and fun. So the logo now is like very 3D and very in your face and very colorful and playful. Um, but I think this, this one, like to me is a better logo just in general. Um, so if they could kind of like make this font have like the rainbow or something like that, then I think that would be cool. All right, McDonald's. Let's see here. McDonald's has a really cool history too. I've actually done a couple videos about it. So, yeah, apparently they were originally called Barbecue, in fun fact. And then they started selling these hamburgers that were like really cheap and really fast um, to get through. And then that kind of progressed someone decided to make the arches because um, a lot of their restaurants have these arches on the side of them. Um, and I love this one. I know it's like a little, it's a little more, got a lot, a little more going on with it than the current one. Um, but I love those old arches on that one. And I do um think that the mcdonald's logo is like one of the most iconic logos um ever it is very um you can see it from literally miles away anywhere you go you know what that what this is when you see these arches so um all right well keep those coming keep in the history logo histories you want to see coming um but for now i'm gonna go through and i'm just gonna save all of the a and w logos that were on this website because i want to make them into a video so let's see we have one two three four five six seven eight of them i don't know why i was thinking there was more um i wrote this down as if there were a ton but that's okay so we can what my thought of it is, is using that sound on TikTok that's like the countdown and just going from eight um, all the way down. Just starting it at eight, I should say. Um, and they also need to update their website because A&W has a different logo right now. They have, they have this logo as their main one which again has a lot going on. I'm, I'm actually kind of shocked that they haven't changed it again, again, because it looks like they changed this in 2018, but now I just feel like this has so many colors and so much going on that it's not, I don't think it's that great. Oh, let's not go Brandon, um, but I will do Starbucks. Okay. okay. So yeah, their original logo did have this lady on it. Um, she was bearing a lot more than she is today. <laughs> um, and then these ones here, uh, the old one, I guess, showed like her whole fins. Um, and then now they zoomed it in. And I really do love the Starbucks logo. It's very iconic. Um, it is... Got a lot of good shapes going on in there, the circle and the circle. Um, and yeah, I mean, at this point, they could literally just make their, um, they could literally just put a green dot on a coffee cup and you would know it's Starbucks. So, I mean, that's how much more iconic can you get in a logo? You know what I mean? All right, well, keep those coming. And for now, I'm gonna show you how I go about making one of my videos. So, um, I'm going to just go ahead and, oh, you just missed, I just did McDonald's. Um, I'm going to go ahead and like make this be full screen. And I think it actually be in the middle. So a lot of times whenever there's a old logo like this, um, they will do 
it will be kind of like blurry because I guess they don't like actually have um, an old logo. Go to file, save as. Let's do a new folder, AW logo history. And when I'm doing this, I like to have it be pulled up with the years on it so that we can see when they changed it. So let's go back to AW. So this looks like it was 1919. Wow, that's a long time ago. I wonder if this one has better quality downloads. Yeah, these are much better. Okay, well, let's redo this. Sometimes these companies will like fully re-vector a lot of these images. Um, and so I do like that. No, you can give more than one request for sure. Uh, I was just saying we already looked at them gone, so if you have another request, then go ahead and request that. Ooh, Walmart. Okay, I wish I could. I wish that you guys weren't on a static computer because Walmart actually, I like included them in a video, and then they were like, hey, "We want to send you a thank you thing," and then they sent me a. Um, they sent me a um, poster thing that has like their every one of their logos from the history. Um, and then at the end they put, or, but they're just in my, they're, they say Tylee Talk instead of Walmart. So they're in the font and it's really cool. Okay, I saw Walmart first and we'll do Coca-Cola. So they have some pretty cool ones, the old font. Like I love this old font on this one and in this general store one. This one really makes it feel like uh, old. <laughs> Um, but yeah, they basically sent me a poster that has like all of these on it, but in my font or my um, username, which is cool. So it just says like Tyler Talk, Tyler Talk, Tyler Talk in all these old fonts, which I really like that. Um, okay. Coca-Cola, I would show you, but it's on the wall. And I don't feel like taking it off the wall. Okay. So they went through a couple of redesigns. This one is pretty wild. I don't know who decided to put those little like music note looking things on the C's, but that one is crazy looking. Um, but at some point, someone must have just like drawn this. Like it literally looks hand drawn, right? And then they must have just kept refining it, kept refining it, kept refining it. I don't know why my cat's just throwing up, but I think it was somebody walking upstairs. <laughs> okay. Ooh, Dixie Cups. That's interesting. Okay, let's do Nintendo, and then we'll do Dixie Cups. Nintendo had a ton of different ones. Um, I put them in a video on my TikTok. I don't know if I've put it on YouTube yet, but I'll. it'll be up there at some point, for sure. Um, but yeah, I love the old ones. Did you know Nintendo has been around since the 1800s? Apparently they used to like make cards and game, like physical games. Um, oh, this is kind of fun. This is the history of all the Nintendo handhelds. That's a cool little graphic, whoever made that. Um, okay, let's see. I don't know if Dixie, let's just see what it does. Dixie Cups. Through the years, maybe it will come up. Let's see. Hmm. So I guess they haven't changed too much, really, considering how old this is. And they still look almost identical. <laughs> Why did they make cups so small in the first place? Like, the only thing that I know that people use them for is like brushing their teeth. Like, Kids I knew, but like I'd go over to their house and they'd have them like by the, for the toothbrush. Oh yeah, Fanta has a good one, hang on. Fanta actually has a ton of old logos that I really like. 
So I love the font of this one, the font up. And I really like this one, like just the three little oranges. Yes, they kind of look like berries, but I do really like them. Ooh, Hershey. Oh, Lysol, you guys are getting all of them. Okay, let's keep going. Hershey's logo. Oh, this is kind of cool. So this is, I guess this is kind of like what was on the bar itself. Um, that's really cool. I love this old font that they had. Again, don't you think that they should bring it back like in some way or another? Like bring back this font and put it on a t-shirt or like put it on a candy bar and say like 100 year old edition or something like that. All right, Lysol. So I guess they haven't really changed. Um, they've always had this this old font. Maybe it looks like at one point it didn't swoosh up as much um, or have all this stuff going on behind it, but definitely. Or maybe we could do Clorox. I wonder if that's changed much. Okay, okay. That's like the Clorox company. Here we go. When did they change it to this? <coughs> this is the one I'm familiar with. Oh, 2020. Hmm. Um, well, they've always had the diamond. They've always had the word in the middle. Um, but I guess it looks like this now, which I did not know. I don't love the gradient behind it. This looks very old to me, like 20. This looks like 90s to me. Alrighty, Kmart. Oh, this was cool. This SS Craig's Kresge Co. If I remember correctly, so Kresge was like its own thing, and then Kmart was its own thing, and then like Kmart bought it out. Um, so then, or Kresge bought Kmart and then turned into Kmart. Something, I don't remember exactly what happened. Something happened like that. Uh, also, I could just be making that up because I don't know where I would have learned that knowledge. Um, okay, Jelly Belly. Yeah, Oreo is where I start all my, everything started blowing up for me. I'm not, I made a video about the, the history of the Oreo logo and, um, I got like 9 million views on TikTok and then whew, kept going. Um, but the crazy thing is, some of my YouTube shorts now have more views than my TikTok, which is awesome. So a couple of them are over 9 million now. So I guess Jelly Belly has never really changed. Um, it looks like this artist redesigned their logo um, for fun. I really like that, but that's not, they aren't changing to that, so unless they decide to. It looks a little too retro to me, but I do like the look of that. All right, let's do Sour Patch Kids. I feel like Sour Patch Kids is such a newer thing that I don't... Oh, maybe they aren't new. <laughs> this looks really old. I was like, oh, Sour Patch Kids have only been around for a little bit, but I guess that's fully not true at all. I wonder when they came out. Ooh, Rite Aid, and then I'll do Kraft. Rite Aid, honestly, um, people hate the new logo. I don't really care. <laughs> one way or another, but they went to this one. I think I like it. I mean, it is kind of odd that they changed the colors, um, but this blue and red does kind of read as like, and the badge shape, it almost reads like, um, like a police officer almost, like because it's red and blue, like it looks like police sirens and then like the badge. So I can understand why they went with a more, with the blue and the green and they want to, I feel like they probably want it to come off as a little more like um, health. So green equals health, you know. Um, oh, Dr. Pepper. Okay, let's do, I saw, oh, I saw Kraft and then we'll do Dr. Pepper. Okay, so Kraft hasn't changed much. Um, Kraft Foods, which owns a lot of things, is the one that changed to this logo at one point. 
and people hated it <laughs> for obvious reasons. It is so bizarre. So they changed back um, to almost a very similar one. They took out, don't ask me, they, they made it lowercase. So that's cool. I don't really have an opinion on that. Okay, we'll do Dr. Pepper and I'll do Lego. Dr. Pepper. You know what? Honestly, should we do Dr. Pepper instead for this video? They have a lot more. Let's see. And they have some pretty cool ones. I Okay, how many do they have? Okay, they have a lot. So if they have... They have 15 logos, so I'm thinking we could probably take out this one. So one of the templates that I make has a spot spots for 12. So that means we need to take out three. So we could probably take out this one here because it's very similar to this one. We could take out this one here because it's very similar to this one. And then, let's see, that makes 13. So maybe we take out this one too. So we could do, 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 do these three go. And then we have a full thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and download these real quick. Keep them coming. Um, I'll do logo, I, I, I'll do Lego um, in just a second. Let me just go ahead and get all these downloaded so that I can leave this page. In just a second. Okay, so we set these two. Definitely gotta get this one. This one is dope. Okay, so that's four. Um, we're gonna do five. I'm gonna skip that one because it looks just like this one. Six. Um, skip that one. Do seven. We'll do eight. We'll do nine, 10, 11. Okay, wait, I wanna, wait, hang on, how many do I have? <laughs> Sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so I guess we'll go back and get one more of these. We'll grab this one. because I want there to be 12. Um, I love their logo right now, by the way, if anyone. Ooh, yeah, we'll do Best Buy, we can do Best Buy, we'll do Lego. Best Buy, people hated Best Buy when they changed, they changed once and then they went back. So let me look up, we want, we've been saying, I've been seeing Lego a lot, so let's do that one first. Um, they had some really dope ones back in the day. I really like this yellow one. Um, I don't, looking at all of these, I'm shocked that they like never really played into the block um, a little more. Like, I guess this one is a square and it's red, but I'm surprised they never like made a 3D looking logo that had like the block, you know? Um, but I don't know. I don't, I do like, I like this one a lot too. That one, the most to me, looks like you're opening a box of Legos, which I like. Um, and I wonder like how long ago Lego started um, actually creating those exact blocks. Like I wonder if they started in 1934 or if they did something else beforehand, like just making toys or whatever. Okay, UPS. Ooh, wow, I love this old one. This one is really bad, but this one, this, oh, wow. Okay, that looks better, but that looks, doesn't that look like a dragon? Um, and then that, that one was really cool. Okay, well, I already made a whole folder, <laughs> literally titled A and W. And now <laughs> we're gonna have to go back 
and a new one. Okay, so all I want to have um let's just retitle this one to be Dr. Pepper. Oh yeah, I forgot Best Buy. Hang on one second. Okay, we'll do that to be Dr. Pepper. Let's do Best Buy. Okay, so this one is their new one. I don't hate it, but it looks just, it looks exactly like the Bud Light logo, if anyone's familiar with that. Um, they did attempt to change, yeah, to this at one point in 2008, and everyone hated it so much it never even got, um, like, it never even became a real thing because people hated it so much. Um, yeah, see, doesn't it, they look identical. I don't know why they couldn't also just put this, they put this font inside of a yellow tag to make it more like the old one because I like that better. I think to me, it reads more iconically Best Buy. Um, okay, let's see, Little Debbie. Hmm. So they went from a photo to a washed out photo to an illustration to a little bit better of an illustration with no string on her hat for some reason. Interesting, to say the least. Ooh, in and out I wonder if in and outs ever changed those. They have an iconic logo too, I feel like. Interesting, interesting. I don't, I love their new, I love their, their current logo. Like, you can't deny how good that looks. You know what I mean? Well, now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead and go back here and start saving these Dr. Pepper ones. Where is that one? Oh, Jeff. Okay, I'll do that one. Um, so the reason that I save all of these in Photoshop first is because, um, so I want them to have that white square behind them um, because if they don't, then when I go to erase them on the iPad, then it looks literally like I'm erasing one on top of the other one. So I always put in the um, white background like this when I'm doing the erasing part. Okay, let's do Jeff. Oh, and then we'll do Mike and Ike's. Hmm. Okay, so it looks like they changed from this like building block kind of a thing to this. Um, I don't know what Ames is. Ooh, Old Spice. I wonder if they've ever changed theirs. Hmm. 1938 to present. <laughs> so, yeah. Alright, I will do Ames, but I really don't know what it is, so. Alright, 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 alright. Chill out, chill out. Going in timeout. I'm sorry, Mr. Ames. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up the Dr. Pepper history. And I'm going to just like look at this every time I do it. So that's 1885. Oh my gosh, I didn't know it was been around that long. Okay, so this one is. Twenty fifteen. Okay, so I'm gonna go save this as 
I'll save it as Dr. Pepper. And I'm going to export it as 2015. Oops, not 2045. Oh, where did I even send that? Okay, so then the way I'm going to do this is I'm just going to go from the top and work my way down. So this one is from 2005. Ooh, Crayola. Okay, I'll do that. Let me get through um, a couple of these and then we'll do Crayola. So sit tight for just a second. All right, that one is, ooh, 1997. I guess you can kind of gather that huh they really seem to like this like that like airbrush type of thing in the 90s all right let me get through one more of these and then I'll, and then I'll do that okay this was 1984 Ooh, I wonder if Pokemon's ever changed I like I love the Pokemon logo right now. If I had to guess, I would say no. Um, just because I feel like since I've been a kid, it's been the same. <laughs> but you never know. Let's look. Okay. Literally, what's the difference here? I don't think there's a difference. This looks like they're all exactly the same. Who made this? kind of cool. I didn't, do they, they didn't actually change their logo for everyone, did they? Okay, concepts. I was going to say. Okay, Crayola. Sorry, I just forgot. So that was about. Ooh, look at this old one. That's pretty cool. I actually, um, I actually don't love their current one. I don't really understand. It's supposed to be like seeing, looking through the box at the crayons, I would say. Also a smile. Um, but it's just got a lot going on here. Like, I feel like this could have been um, a square. You know what? I'm going to save this because I might remake that at some point because I hate that. Uh, wait, what, what year did it say they changed? Oops. 2006. I do not remember that. All right, the Warner Brothers one is also people got really mad about it because they changed recently. They went from the kind of, yeah, like this to this. Um, but really, they it was just the company that changed. So it didn't really change too much, actually. Oh. So like this is their was their official company logo was this, but everyone thought because they took, because they changed it to this, everybody thought that they were taking it away from the movies that looked like this, but they really didn't. Okay, let's finish going through these. Okay, next we have 1971. Um. Let me know in the chat, um, what's, what are your all's favorite logos of all time? And then um, we can look at those, you know. Okay, this one was 1967. I'm going to get a little bigger. Oh, Nintendo's your favorite logo? It is a pretty good logo. Okay, 
Okay, what year was this one? 1963. And then the white one. Let's see what year this one was. I believe this one was 58. Ooh, I like the Pepsi logo too. All right, let me go ahead and get through all of saving all these real quick, and then we can go. Um, we'll look at some more. So keep keep commenting them in the chat, and then we will look at them. So I definitely I agree. Um, I like the Pepsi logo, and that one also was controversial when it changed. If anyone remembers, so um, we'll definitely look at that one. Everyone hated the new when they changed it. It was like end of days, 1934. Wow, that's old. Nineteen eleven. King of beverages. <laughs> and then the last one was, I believe, eighteen eighty five. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, it's actually a pretty cool logo. There's a lot of little swirly gigs in there. Okay, next, got through that, and then let me just save this here. Here. Okay, and then we'll go through a couple more. Um, what I want to do is I need to eventually film this. Um, so we'll go through a couple more and then I think I'll be done for the day. How long have we been on here? Like almost 45 minutes, I think. So that's a pretty good live today. Um, let's do Pepsi. I'll, I'll show Nintendo again, even though we did that one just because it seems like you weren't in the chat just yet. Um, I think I've looked up Five Below before and it is too new. Okay, let's do Elmer's. Pepsi, Five Below, Nintendo, and then we're going to call it a day. So, Elmer's. I feel like Elmer's has never changed. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. This cow was so grumpy back then. Okay, that's funny. And back then, I guess. And then now he's kind of a little less grumpy. Okay. Then we were going to do Five Below. I feel like, when did Five Below even become a thing? Like, not long ago, right? Yeah, they haven't changed. It makes me think of, there was this, um, there was this uh, frozen yogurt shop in Kentucky when I used to live there that I used to go to, and it was called 32 Degrees, and it had the little degree symbol like this, and it makes me think of it every time. You know what I don't like about the Five Below logo? Why is the F and the I lowercase and the e but none of these letters are that makes zero sense to me um but okay sure go off um okay pepsi oh we'll do sega and then we'll do nintendo and sega um pepsi has some pretty cool ones i love this old one and i love this one too actually but yeah everyone went in an uproar when I changed from this to this, which is pretty dumb, but okay, Nintendo. Yeah, so they had some really cool ones and they went back really far, so that's pretty wild. Also, logosworld.net has like literally everything on it, always. So, same with this a thousand logos. Uh, whoever's running those think are a lifesaver to me. Did you know Sega stood for service games? Because I did not. Um, and then we have this one. I really love that one. It looks kind of like little like ribbons almost. Um, and then we have the one from today. 
that we all know. I don't know what the difference is here. Different blue, slightly. Those look identical. Literally, what did they change? Oh, the G goes into the A a little bit further. Don't ask me. They probably paid someone millions of dollars to change this to this. <laughs> um, the next live is going to be, let me think my schedule, probably next Wednesday or next Thursday at around the same time as now. So around 4.30 or 5 p.m. Pacific time, which is 7.30 to 8 Eastern time. So that will be the next live. And um, thank you guys so much for joining as usual, joining in. Uh, couldn't do all this without you guys. 